This video is brought to you by Triple Sleeve TCG. Check out their website at triplesleevetcg.com. Hey there, YouTube! It's your boy! It's the Sea Gang! Uh, here's a deck profile for Zorga, a unexpectedly fun deck. Uh, this is my deep sea goth boyfriend, and I love him. He's very sad, but his deck isn't. So, uh, we got the ride deck being our boy Mysterious Rain Spiritualist Zorga. So, when you would play a normal order, you can bind a normal order with a different name from Drop Zone, and you can Alchemagic, where you combine the costs and the cards and add the effect to the back. As if that phrase means literally anything. Basically, you get to activate two orders instead of one during a turn, which is great. It kind of just fixes the problems that no orders had during V-Series, where you could kind of only use one. And now you can just abuse that. Also, it does a fun revive thing where you can counterblast one to call a card from Drop Zone. Uh, that's good. It's a great effect. Do not get me wrong, but that is not what we're here for. We are here for Alchemagicking, a very clunkily explained ability with a bunch of weird rulings, but it's fine. Um, so next in the ride deck is Black Tears Husk Dragon where on Ride, you can add a normal order from Drop the Hand, and on Rear, if you played a normal order, it gets 5k. And that Van ability to salvage an order is made a lot easier with Ranker Chain. Uh, this is the only copy of this card you run, because while it has one of the best Ride deck abilities, it has one of the worst main deck abilities of a Ride deck unit within these first 10 decks. So on Ride, you can Soul Blast 1 to draw 2, and either discard an order or discard two non-order cards. So, uh, yeah, you get to draw two, drop it, and then salvage what you drop with uh, Black Tears. So you effectively get to Soul Blast 1, draw two, which is sick. And then on rear, if you played an order, it gets 2k, making it a 10k booster. There are, but there, because there are ways to soul blast and call from drop zone, you actually can use this thing. And I will almost always call this card from drop zone just to have it on board. I would just never want to have more than one. And last is um, the Thick Boy Dream Nibbling. Um, I want to get an SP of this thing. This is the funniest card just ever. I love him. He's disgusting. My weird little freak. Uh, on to the main deck, though. Running three copies of uh, Zorga. Persona writing is good. The deck actually... Well, of course, the 10 kit of the front row is obviously always good. It doesn't actually need it a whole bunch because there are orders to supplement it. Uh, the drawing is just really nice because you want to make sure you have orders. Um, next is we're running four copies of Best Order, uh, Grief, Despair, and Rejection, uh, my last therapy appointment. And you can counter plus one to activate it. If your Vanguard is Zorga, three of your cards get 10k. It doesn't need to be in a row, so you can just give a column 20k if you wanted. Uh, it's Counterblast 1 to effectively Persona Ride. This thing's nutty, and it's fantastic. This is how you win games. Next is uh, three copies of Cursed Souls, Squirming, and Agony. These are the funniest names for cards. Uh, so you can activate it with Soul Blast 2. You check top 4. You can call one normal unit... Call one unit, sorry, from among them to rear and drop the rest but if you alchemagicked it you can call two instead and make all cards in this order get 5k so two things about this that are important because one of this is a common question is you don't need to bind it to get the if during alchemagic effect it's just if you are activating this order and it is in the process of alchemagicking where you combine the cards you are able to do it so from hand or drop zone as well, because 
Alchemagic combines the orders into technically one card, quote-unquote, if the other order you Alchemagic it with gives power... Oh, sorry, no. If it calls a card, the card you call with the second order also gets 5k from the if during Alchemagic effect because it is still technically this order's call, even though they do different things. So, with the grade 1 order, that's just Monster Reborn, that card would get power from this grade 3 order. I don't know why it works that way, but apparently it does, so that's funny. Thanks, Alchemagic. And we're running two copies of Hydraulic Ram Dragon. If you have a bound order, it gets 5k on attack. So it's an 18k beater, um... And unlike something like Black Tears Husk Dragon, you don't actually need to play in order to give it the 5k. You just need to have, have ba one bound at any point during the game, which is very nice. As well, um, it's, it hits for 18 unboosted, so it hits funny numbers. So this is a good card. Under the grade 2, the quite literal lifeblood of the deck is... <laughs> Uh, the quite literal lifeblood of the deck is Inheritance Made in Hendrina. Uh, this is the reason why your deck actually functions, so you need this at four. When it's placed on rear, you may mill three. Uh, so if you don't have any orders in drop zone, you can bind for Alchemagic either because you don't have any period or you don't have one with a different name from an order in your hand. This lets you just do that which is cool. And the other thing, which is why you run this card beyond that, is you can retire itself as an act ability, and whenever you would Alchemagic, you do not need to Soul Blast. And because it's Alchemagicing, you don't need... If both cards Soul Blast, you don't need to pay either of them, because that's how that works, apparently. And... Yeah, it... This deck has a soul issue because nothing goes into soul besides riding. So if you activated, say, the Curse Soul, Squirming and Agony, your deck doesn't do anything because you have no souls. So this, this helps you avoid that altogether. This is such a well-designed card for this deck, and it is fantastic in every way. And I just love running a flower maiden next to Kokaitis's goth grandson. It's great. Speaking of, we also have Black Tears Husk Dragon. We have two in the main because it's a 15k beater if you played in order, which is, you know, good. Uh, it helps hit numbers, which is fine. If you give it an 8k booster, it hits 23, which it forces 15k drop off of any Vanguard. On the grade ones, we're running four copies of the PG. It's a PG and, the, and a Vanguard. Running four copies of Admantis, uh, on place give a card 5k, it helps hit bigger numbers and also because you have ways of calling from drop zone, it's easy to recycle this thing, which is bonkers. And lastly, we're running four copies of Spiritual Body Condensation, Soul Blast 1 to call a card from drop zone with grade equal to or less than your Vanguard, and it gets 5k. This is really funny early game, just because it helps you hit big numbers against the lower powered target which is always funny and again if you alchemagic it with cursed body condensation the card gets 10k instead which is funny it's a good card and lastly under the triggers this is going to be uh, a three draw deck because um you, you're not really at fear of decking out with this, really, but you want to see orders, which is why you draw card, want to draw cards, and Lost Child of Attachment is a really funny name for a card, but yeah, you're not, you don't really have a fear of decking out, you just want to see your orders, and you don't really need to run more than this, because once something is in a drop, you can basically use your drop zone as your hand, because you can call things from drop, or bind orders from drop, so you really don't need more than this. Uh, one over trigger and four heals, because it's vanguard and over triggers and heal triggers exist. I really love not even having to think about my trigger lineup anymore because half of it's friggin' done for me. Thanks, Bushi. Order triggers are stupid. 
Uh, and then we're running eight crits because the deck hits good enough numbers on its own that you don't need the fronts. And uh, killing with crits is good. And it just kind of wins games because it's a critical in Vanguard. Um, that's it for Zorga. This is a very fun deck. I'm very excited for BTO2 when we get the other, um, when Alchemagic order, I think it's like Regurgitation or something, and, uh, Demon Headhunter. Those cards are kind of wacky, and I'm very excited, and I hope this deck has support to come. This was like a breakout star. I genuinely didn't expect to have as much fun with this deck as I do. So, uh, thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and we're gonna get some videos soon.